A difficult and painful issue that can be addressed through cultural rights is that of remedying historic injustices. Groups claim cultural rights as collective rights vis-a-vis -vis the majority society with corresponding obligations, namely rights which are necessary to preserve and develop the cultural integrity of the group, often in order to remedy historical injustices. It is interesting in that sense to mention the example of Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission established to address the legacy of the Indian residential schools. Having worked between 2008 and 2015, the Commission adopted 94 calls to action. Among those, actions 13 to 17 address language and culture. Quote, we call upon the federal government to acknowledge that Aboriginal rights include Aboriginal language rights. We call upon the federal government to enact an Aboriginal Languages Act that incorporates the following principles. One, Aboriginal languages are a fundamental and valued element of Canadian culture and society, and there is an urgency to preserve them. Two, Aboriginal language rights are reinforced by the treaties. Three, the federal government has a responsibility to provide sufficient funds for Aboriginal language revitalization and preservation. The preservation, revitalization, and strengthening of Aboriginal languages and cultures are best managed by Aboriginal people and communities. Funding for Aboriginal languages initiatives must reflect the diversity of Aboriginal languages. We call upon the federal government to appoint, in consultation with Aboriginal groups, an Aboriginal languages commissioner. The commissioner should help promote Aboriginal languages and report on the adequacy of federal funding of Aboriginal languages initiatives. We call upon post-secondary institutions to create university and college degrees and diploma programs in Aboriginal languages. We call upon all levels of government to enable residential school survivors and their families to reclaim names changed by the residential school system by waiving administrative costs for a period of five years for the name change process and the revision of official identity documents such as birth certificates, passports, driver's licenses, health cards, status cards, and social insurance numbers." Unquote. Attention to cultural rights can have real and practical effects. It can help strengthen public policies for the respect of the identity of indigenous peoples and their communities, and even mend historic injustices towards their, these communities by the majority population, as well as build positive intercultural relations. Since cultural rights impact so deeply on identities, even symbolic acts can have a significant impact in society and set the stage for more positive changes, ones that would go beyond symbolism and moral aspects of policy and also touch on material demands that some cultural rights entail, such as language rights or the continuation of a number of traditional occupations linked to land and natural resources. As a broad conclusion to any state attempts to mend historical injustices, I would like to underline that an indispensable condition for such approaches for historic remedies is the full and effective participation of the indigenous peoples concerned. <laughs>